Nalan. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I'm Miles. I'm the U Inverse. Um, today, I want to talk about uh, relaxation and the importance of relaxation, why we need to relax more often, more frequently, and the depths of our relaxation. It's written within the yoga scriptures that discipline, concentration, hard work, commitment, these are the things that are required for reaching spiritual enlightenment. These things are well understood in our society. You know, discipline and hard work equal results. However, something that is lacking um, much awareness is uh, the importance of relaxation. Unfortunately, it's believed, like I just said, that hard work equals results. But actually, relaxation is equally important, if not more important, to success than hard work. Now, I'm not confusing relaxation with laziness. Relaxation is the conscious effort of learning and turning, uh, learning, how, learning, learning how to and turning off unnecessary stress so that your energy can be focused on areas of growth. Your goals, personal uh, development, and instead of your energy being wasted on stress and physical tension. Laziness, to, com to compare relaxation to laziness, laziness is the byproduct of lacking the faculties or capability to deal with stress. Laziness isn't relaxation, it's a withdrawal from relaxation because laziness perpetuates stress. So to achieve a flow state in life, uh, a flow state being a state of mind where we can overcome difficulties, live entirely in the present moment, uh, consciously create decisions and uh, goals that accent accentuate and positively affect our future. So to achieve a flow state, we have to balance discipline with relaxation. So too much relaxation, nothing gets done. Too much discipline, we become burnt out, we become overstressed. And then again, nothing gets done. Finding an appropriate balance between discipline and relaxation is integral for fluid, calm movement in life. And it creates an environment where wisdom can permeate every situation. The reason I want to discuss the importance of relaxation is because I guarantee that unless you felt bliss through some kind of external stimuli, substance abuse or otherwise, then I'm almost certain you will have not known true relaxation. This is because relaxation itself is incredibly difficult, especially in the life and times that we live. To fully, and I mean fully, truly relax, it takes conscious effort. Relaxation, again, is not laziness. It's not, you know, taking a break to sit and chill, although it's definitely more relaxing to do that. True, like, true relaxation actually takes skill. You have to actively participate in relaxation. If you disagree with me while watching this, I encourage you to take a moment to just notice your breathing and then feel where tension lives in your body. So it might be your shoulder blades, your back, your spine. You might feel it behind the eyes or in the face or even in the mind, okay? Even thoughts themselves are a kind of tension because they steal the prana, the energy, the life force from positive growth. So to actually achieve true relaxation, we need to understand what we're trying to achieve. True relaxation is the dissolution of all tension in the body, be it mental or physical. The last time you were free of tension free of worry, free of stress, was probably, if you were lucky, as a child. I want you, at some point in the very near future, to research what real relaxation is and how you can personally achieve it. I want you to do this because I can guarantee you will feel so much better, so much more well-rested and feel less poorly, less stressed, than probably after a full eight hours of sleep. So if we just, if we just recap, then relaxation is the releasing of all tension in the body. When we relax, we can let go of where we're using 
potential energy in the wrong places. So stress and tension in the body cultivates and holds a lot of our energy. When, so when I say that relaxation is just as important for growth as doing the hard stuff, it's because you want to focus all your energy into doing the hard stuff, don't you? But if you're not relaxed, you're stressed, then you're leaking energy into the wrong places. So to relax is to be disciplined. And pure and true relaxation does take, true relaxation does take a determined conscious effort. And I guarantee you, it will help you in more, in a, in a hell of a lot of ways. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, look at me, I'm outside amongst the people. I'm sorry if I've been into the microphone. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, let me know, give us a like, comment, subscribe. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.